I'm just coming from being unemployed, broke, in debt, all this stuff, and making like $160,000, $170,000 in like a six, seven month period. And then all of a sudden I get this phone call saying that this entire thing could just go away. Um, but what I did in that moment set up the rest of my entire career, and I believe the rest of my entire life. What I did was, I thought about it, I got a little worried, I got a little nervous for about five minutes. And then I went right back to work. Sure. So many people are dealing with uncertainty. Everyone. And, and that uncertainty is causing depression. That anxiety. And, and anxiety. And it's causing um, paralyzation, really. They're paralyzed by fear, whether it's fear of failure or fear of uncertainty or fear of failing in front of other people. Um, you know, whatever that may be. That's all uncertain, not safe, life-threatening mm -hmm. to your brain. Yeah, your brain, which your is real. I know a lot of people are going through times right now that are super uncertain, some uncomfortable times. And uh, and I've been there and I'm, I'm, I'm there all the time. And, and so this is what Tony Robbins said. He said, and this is paraphrasing. He said, the ones that ultimately will be mo the most successful are the ones that can handle the most uncertainty. So think about that. The ones that will ultimately be the most successful are the ones that can handle the most uncertainty. So here's my encouragement from that, okay? My encouragement that is if you are dealing with a lot of uncertainty right now, if there's a lot of things that are up in the air, a lot of things that are making you uncomfortable, a lot of things um, that aren't um, you know, neat and in an order, that's a good thing. And so embrace that. Because it is by embracing it, it's by handling it, it's by dealing with it, it's by continuing to do it anyway, even in those uncertain times, that ultimately are what separate the successful from the unsuccessful. Us being salespeople and coming from a sales background, we've been in those uh, periods of our life where you know you can feel like you're on an island, like you can feel you can feel all alone, and like the phone weighs a million pounds, and all the things that come along with the ups and downs of a salesperson's career. It's an important thing for people to understand that it's normal. Yeah, um, because I think that's where a lot of the prolonged stages of uncertainty and anxiety comes from when people feel like something's wrong with me. Yeah. Like I went through this, this happened, created anxiety, created fear, created uncertainty. I don't know what to do. I'm the only one that's ever dealt with this or something's wrong with me for feeling this way or right. I'm inadequate because I'm feeling this way. Right. It's important for people to know that the highest level of performers in the world have dealt with the exact same yep. thing. Like the, whoever in your mind is like the guy, like the pinnacle of success in whatever field you're in, they've dealt with the exact same feelings that you're yep. feeling today. Over that year of me not knowing if the opportunity, the career that I was absolutely going all in on was even going to exist, the next second I could get a phone call and say it's over. Over that year, I sold probably 25, 2600 life insurance policies, all while not knowing if the next day I would be able to continue doing it. Um, that led to conversations down the road and ultimately becoming part owner of the company I then was working for. If you want to be successful, it's going to take embracing uncertainty. So if you are praying for success, chances are you're going to be handed some situations that are going to be uncertain. And it's how you handle those which will ultimately determine whether you actually become a success or not.